Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're already subscribed. So uh, today we are going to do a Menards seed haul. Um, Menards is really where it's at. They had a lot of um, different types of seeds. They were a little pricey, um, minus the Valley Green ones that I'm going to show you. But I kind of went a little crazy in there. Um, but I wanted to share, so let's get right in. I do have multiples of certain ones that I really, really like. So if I run into it, they're not organized. We're just going to zoom past it. Xenias. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love these so much. Um, these are the giant mix. They're the really tall ones. They're huge. Um, these are definitely uh, full sun. And it says that they have uh, red, pink, orange, magenta, yellow, and white. So... Um, these are beautiful. I grew these last year and the year before. I love them. So we got zinnias, the giant mix. This one, I don't believe I've ever grown, but I love, I just love looking at these. I thought they were so pretty. Um, these are the, they're sweet pea. They're an annual full sun. So those will be beautiful. Uh, here's some sweet marjoram. They had a lot of herbs and this is a full sun herb. I'm just going to set these there. Okay. And then this one is one that I've never heard of, um, but I thought it was pretty. So I grabbed this. They're called stock and um, so these can be an annual or a biannual and it does say that they're full sun or part shade. So these are going to do really good. I'm going to uh, plant these on the side of my house because the way my house faces, the sun comes from the front, not the back. So I got this. Uh, of course, Aster, I've grown this. Beautiful. I love the pinks, the magenta, the purple. This is also a uh, full sun. Cracker Jack Marigolds. These are one of my faves. Um, these are beautiful. They grow really big. Um, they are full sun as well. Clarkia, I've never grown this, but we're growing it this year. Uh, I believe this is a full sun. Yeah. This is another one of those um, annuals. They're full sun or they can be partial sun. So these are good. Um, here's Elysium. Um, these are the kind of plants that you can put in pots and they'll hang over the pot. They're really, really pretty. Um, these are also an annual um, for either full or partial shade. So these will do good either way. Um, Candy cane zinnias. I have never grown this version. I thought these were so cute. They're so big. Um, and I love the candy cane appearance. These are full sun as well. These are container friendly. So I may, instead of growing them in the ground, I might just try a container with these. We'll see. I'll, I'll do a video on it after I plant all this stuff. It's still going to be about two months out because I'm in zone six. So beautiful though. Look at that. So pretty. Uh, this is a different kind of Clarkia. I got several of these. Um, I thought they were really, really pretty as well. I already showed you this one. Oh my gosh, mammoth sunflowers. You guys, I love these. I grew, I want to say about 20 of these last year. So I had like a sun, a little mini sunflower patch. These guys grew so tall. I think mine were at least, um, I think they were about 12 foot tall. Oh my gosh, they were beautiful, you guys. Um, if I can find a picture, I'll insert a picture in this video. But I love the mammoth sunflowers. And you can take the seeds at the end of the season and you can either save them or you can roast them. They're really, really good. Bachelor's button. I have some of these growing now. I love these. They're pretty. They're a wildflower. Um, they say they're an annual, but believe it or not, mine actually came back last year. So, yeah. Candy Tuft. Uh, grew these as well. I like Candy Tuft. This is a uh, annual. It's a full sun plant. Now, don't laugh at me how I... Okay, is it Gypsophilia? Gypsophilia? <laughs> Basically, baby's breath. Um, these come in a lot of bouquets that you get at the grocery store, the florist. Um, they are a full or partial sun, and I love that about these. I love all the ones that are like full sun or partial sun because, like I said, the way my house faces, I have a lot of like partial sun. 
already showed you this. California poppies, another one of my favorites. I grew these two years in a row. Um, these are a full sun. And they grow about 12, 12 inches tall. So, lettuce. I have never grown little gem lettuce, but I've grown lettuce. And I actually have some right now. It's beautiful. Um, it's really easy to grow. So, we'll see how this goes. Candy Tough. I already showed you. Like I said, I got a lot of different ones. Oh, I didn't show you the Sparky Marigold. So, these ones are the ones you find at a lot of your... Um, Myers, Walmart, the nurseries, they sell. I love these. These are pretty for containers. Straw flower, never grew these before. Um, they are, they did say they are a tall mix. This is sun, full sun. These are also an annual full sun as well. But I thought these were so pretty. I love like the orange and the yellows. And um, these would be good to put in in like a taller container since they're taller I think that would be really good so uh Lilliput Xenia beautiful oh my gosh you guys these are like um they're very as you can tell they're very bright, vibrant I really really like these these are um full sun American flag leek I have not grown this yet I'm excited to grow this uh this season so I got a couple of these I think I got like four of these but these are a full sun as well um, so yeah, then of course my husband had to throw some chili peppers in the mix. Um, these grow really good. I grew these last year. I also grew habanero and they were wonderful. Obviously they're full sun. Um, uh, but these are, you know what? These are, they say they're medium hot. I still think they're hot, but then again, I, I don't like hot food. So these I grew last year. I have a whole, I think I got three or four of these. Um, these are your giant peppers, obviously full sun, um, but these grow really, really easily with the Arrow Garden. Of course, I had to have my pumpkins. Uh, last year, we ended up with four large pumpkins. Oh my goodness, like they were, they were great. So I got a couple of those. Spinach, I love spinach for smoothies. I put these in my smoothies, my kids' smoothies. Um, oh, and pumpkin is obviously, they are full sun. Um, and if you are going to grow these, you have to make sure that you have enough space. Last year, we ran into that problem. I thought that I had enough space and they just grew all over the grass. You got to be really careful with that. Um, but spinach for smoothies, like I said, we got some more leeks. Um, we are a huge basil. Uh, we use basil and everything. Um, so a bunch of these these are full sun as well um the good part about these two is that they grow like if you put them in a container you, you can fill the whole container up with just one seed pack i got arugula um i think that's full sun as well yeah oh well <coughs> um excuse me it likes shade so it says light shade i guess but I know for sure the best thing to do with these is you want to grow these and you want to make sure it's full sun. Yeah. Oh, and patience. These are one of my favorites as well. I know I keep saying, oh, these are my favorites. But everything I pretty much am showing you is everything that I've already grown or have an aspiration to grow. So impatience. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, These I always have on my porch because they like shade. Um, so yeah, already showed you the leeks, arugula, carrots, one of my favorites too. Uh, let's see, I'll try to see the, never mind, it's not on there, darn. But anyways, um, here's tarragon, I grew this last year, this is good for like your salad dressings, um, it's good for like a chicken marinade. This was one of my favorites. How cute. These cute little pumpkins. Um, where I live at in the fall, they sell these at the grocery stores and all that. Uh, these need full sun. They are just, and they're edible and they're just so cute. We got some squash. We eat this in the fall. Um, this is another one of the full, um, what is it called? Full sun. 
I got some broccoli. Ornamental corn. I've never grown this. I'm so excited to do this though. Um, this, they're the glass gem ones. They're full sun. Um, let's see. Yeah, and these are, from what I understand, uh, these, the seedlings will emerge within a week. So they're really quick to grow. And then cucumbers. I grew a whole bunch of these last year. These need full sun and you want to make sure you have something for them to climb on. Thyme, of course, another full sun one. Um, let's see. These are really easy to grow in the arrow garden too. Spearmint, rosemary. I'm trying not to talk too much because this video is super long. Anyways, so these, love these. Grew these last year. There's some poppies, really pretty. I've never grown this version, but it's very, very pretty. Full sun as well. And I think, let's see guys. Chives. Columbine, this is a perennial. Um, these are beautiful. They're very easy to grow, full sun. Um, or you can do in the part shade as well because they, they kind of don't like um, like the constant heat. And you could put those in containers. Calendula, I grew these last year. Um, they're full sun as well. And let's see, guys. Yeah, I think we're to the end. This is the last one. Uh, this I've never grown. I've seen it in stores. It's kind of pricey to buy, um, but it is a perennial. And I like this because it's drought tolerant. So you can't, you don't have to worry about like overwatering and stuff. But yeah, so. Yeah, guys. And you know what's cool too? Like where I live or whatever. Um, you can grow it, start growing in April. So like you can put it out in April. So yeah, so that is it for the seed haul. Oh, and let me talk about these pots. So these seed starter pots from Menards as well. I think they were $1.80 for $50. Um, these are your best bet for your seedlings. I always try to use these for starting. If not, I use the black ones that you can get at like nurseries and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that is it for my seed haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments about anything about gardening, I've been gardening for a few years now. Um, so I do have somewhat good knowledge on um, a lot of the um, gardening type topics. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.